Hey, Fire Fam! What's up, Fire Fam? It is Ashi here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a collective reading for today. It is hump day. It is Wednesday. It is May 11th. This reading will be for today or whenever you guys hear this reading. Alrighty. Um, so let's hop in, my loves. Let's see what's going on with the Fire Fam. Keep in mind that this is general. It is a collective reading. It's for all the zodiac signs, guys. So please do only take what resonates with you. So let's see what's going on, y'all. Let's see what's going on with the collective. Let's see messages for the collective for today, Wednesday, May 11th, or whenever you guys hear this reading. Just a couple announcements, guys. The Mother's Day raffle. It's still going on. It ends on May the 15th. The link is pinned in the comments below. It's also in the description box below if you guys would love to enter into the Mother's Day raffle. And what else? I have 23 of the May boxes left. And I restocked some, um, some candles in the... What else? I can't think right now. I restocked... Um, my online shop guys so i know a couple of you guys are waiting um for like the love candle and the banish candle to come back and stock those are now available on my online shop my tears have healed my heart.com all righty so with that being said y'all let's hop in let's see what's going on let's see what's going on with the collective let it be good let it be great let's see y'all let's see messages for the collective for today Wednesday, May the 11th, or whenever you guys hear this reading. All right, let's see, universe. All right, let's look at the current energy around your love life. All right, so you have the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, we got the Tower. All right, I see some making up energy. And I see some... So make yeah, so making up. All right, let's see. Um, how does your partner feel about you? We have a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. How do you feel about your um your partner? We have the Nine of Swords. What should you know about your relationship? We have the Four of Swords. What are you overlooking in this relationship? We have the Four of Cups. And is there anything holding you guys back? From being with this person. We have the hermit in reverse. So for some of you guys. I will say starting out that you and this person that you guys are dealing with. You guys definitely have some type of connection here. But I am not sure if they are aligned with you. It's not a bad thing. It's just that I feel like for some of you guys. When I was looking at this energy. It's like if you're very spiritual. This person may not be spiritual or you guys both are, but you're just on a different path. And I feel like you're more in tune, more aligned than them. Okay? I feel like this person is still figuring things out, still going through things, um, still dealing with or overcoming a lot of insecurities. Or could just be dealing with things, you know, like on the inside personally and maybe not expressing that to you. But trying to show up in every way possible to make you happy um and to bring like the chemistry and the passion to the relationship but then i also see where like you are like kind of stressed and annoyed by your person or in this relationship and for them to see and view you as a queen of pentacles in reverse question mark the reason why i said that is because like the queen of pentacles when she's in reverse sometimes she can be very mean and stubborn and selfish and she only sees things one way she can just be somebody that is tired she's just she's done she's not giving she's not supportive she's not there she's not understanding you know, so I wonder what that is all about. But we're going to hop in, guys, and see. We're going to clarify this energy because I can definitely turn things around and change things. So, yeah, let's see what's going on, y'all. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, I do see the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Tower. I do see some like, making up energy. I see somebody, you know, giving to the relationship, giving a lot. Um, or like giving in to you in some type of way, you know, definitely trying to please you and, you know, like give you what you want, 
making sure that you're you're satisfied in the relationship with them are dissatisfied right now with the six of pentacles and eight of wands we do have the tower let's see how the towers here it doesn't have to be bad that could be scorpio aries energy let's see who has a tower here for the current energy around your um love life right now let's see why is the tower here onto the tower for the collective we have the knight of cups yeah this is somebody making up knight of pentacles Not a sword green verse. Somebody wasn't thinking. Or somebody is like, dang, I messed up. I did something. They needed some time to think about it. They needed some time to figure it out. Okay? And I feel like this person knew you were mad or upset about something. And this is them coming in with an apology. Trying to make it up. Trying to make up, you know? Um, for some of you guys, you guys have several people coming at you. For some of you guys, you got several people coming at you left and right. I don't know why, but lately I've been picking up on two different energies, like in almost every reading. Um, so for some of you guys, you guys have somebody coming back around from a long time ago. Somebody that I feel like you guys kind of forgot about with the Knight of Swords reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. Trying to reach out to you, wanting to take you out, wanting to see what's up with you, what's going on. You know, it might be small talk, but it's like they're reaching out. It's possible that you guys can, you know, go on a date or hang out hook up or whatever i wouldn't say hook up as far as like in a sexual way but you know like hook up to go meet and stuff like that and that may happen for some of you guys a situation that was kind of dead um like i said i feel like you guys kind of forgot about the person but they're gonna reach out or they forgot about you and you're reaching out to them and then we have the knight of cups so i just see a lot of different people a lot of different energy around you but for others of you it's the first energy that i picked up and it's somebody that is they're like they're coming in with like gifts, passion, meeting you halfway, wanting to give more, or like they're in the energy of like like giving right now. Like they're trying to make up to you in any way possible after some type of argument, some type of disagreement. Um, and like I said, I feel like it took them a little bit longer than normal to come around. Or it's like this time when they came around, they just they they came in that Knight of Cups energy, loving, romantic. You know, they probably did something, you know, like from the heart, like wrote you something, did something, said something, something that was very heartfelt, something that they would norm, normally not say or something that like, you know, like just got to you and you're just like, oh, wow, like something that I feel like you guys just weren't expecting. Okay. So let me go into the Knight of Cups right now. Let me see. Yeah, the Six of Cups. So this is somebody that you're definitely dating, somebody that came in like, so when you guys reconnected or when this person, um, when they made up with you or whatever they did, it was like very romantic, very loving, very romantic. Like, yeah, it was like very, very, very romantic. I don't know why I'm hearing advice. So I don't know if they got advice from somebody. Maybe somebody told them like, oh, you need to do this. You should do that. If you do this, this will work. I don't know what that's about. But let's go into this Ace of Wands really quick. Let's see why the Ace of Wands here. Go into the Ace of Wands. Why the Ace of Wands here? We have the strength in reverse of the Theo Wands. Yeah. So I thought this is somebody that also feels like I feel like at times you're over it, you know, with the strength card. Because the strength card can, in reverse can be somebody that's like over it, frustrated, like tired, like I'm just tired of this. I don't really have time for that. You know, like, I can move on. I can do me. Like, we don't even have to be together. We don't have to talk. It can be that kind of energy. So, I feel like somebody doesn't want to end things and break up or they actually want to see this relationship moving forward or they still want to move forward with you. So, I just feel like whatever you are feeling or whatever you express or, I don't know, I feel like this is how they think you feel towards them, honestly, even though we're not in their feelings because somebody can sense or feel that you're just kind of like over it, you're done, you're frustrated. And it's like... They feel like they had to come, like, strong, come different this time around. Mm-hmm. Or we have the world card in reverse. I feel like you were expecting them to come back around the same. The same are, it's just like this has been a repeated cycle between you and this person. Or this is, like, just a repeated cycle. So, I mean, for some of you guys, so, for example, if they came back recently and they made up to you, like, you guys made up or whatever, I feel like you guys made up and it was like very cute. It was very romantic. I feel like you guys are happy and stuff. I don't see negative energy right here. But all I'm saying is like this is still a, a repeated cycle. Meaning that 
if you, you guys might get into it again and they're going to do this again this is going to continue to happen into somebody like kind of like breaks the cycle so it's like somebody gets mad and frustrated with the change card reverse ready to give up ready to give up on the person the relationship i'm tired i'm done and then it's like this person comes forward they bring gifts they do stuff they say stuff um they're romantic they'll go above and beyond do stuff oh i love you let me show you how much i care for you i love you you know the things that people do on relationships but it's like with this person they're going to do that every time because that's what they that's what they know to do and it is a cycle that's how the world card is in reverse why is the world in reverse look it's a repeated cycle with both of you guys you get mad you get frustrated you shut this person out say whatever do whatever then they feel shut out for a while they come back they like for one with the knight of swords reverse they don't know what to do they need some time to think what should i do you know um then it's like they come back and like i said they're sweet they're romantic let's do this let's go out they might do something for you they might buy you something that you really 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 want you know something like that or it's just like whatever this is it's just a cycle between you guys it's a cycle so I'm going to break down the cards with, I'm going to break down this world card with this deck in reverse. Why is the world card in reverse? Yeah, you guys are definitely in a cycle. Both of you guys are in this cycle together. This is what y'all do, whoever this is, for whoever this is resonating with. Why is the world card in reverse? The king of swords, and we have the ace of wands. And then over here with the world card in reverse, look, we have the sun. And we have the two of swords. See, this is definitely both of you guys. Because over here, we have the king of swords and we have the ace of wands, which would definitely clarify this energy. This is somebody that this situation is, it's like, this is what they do. Like I said, it's a cycle. And with the king of swords, knight of swords in reverse, at first, they don't know what to do. They got to figure it out. They figure it out. And when they figure it out, it comes towards you. They come towards you like, like, you know, like... It all sounds good. It all adds up. It all makes sense. You know? Um, and I thought whoever you guys are dealing with, like, they're not done. They know what they're doing. It's like with the King of Swords. They know how to speak to you. They know what to say. They know how to say it. You know, they know how to get you to open up and to give in to them. And I'm not saying it in a way where I feel like they're using you guys or taking advantage. No, but it's just like they know how to turn the situation around. King of Swords to the Ace of Wands. They, they know how to get you to open up to accept them back in. But this is a cycle because it's in the world. The world card is in reverse, so it's like they're gonna. This is this is gonna keep playing out. You know, I guess until it gets played out. I don't know. Um, then I clarify the world card in reverse again, and I feel like this is you got you guys' energy because it's like with this here, it's telling me when they come back around, when they you know do change or do make some offer or do communicate or whatever, you're back happy. It's a sign here. This is what you really wanted. Okay, like the sun is here, you're happy again, but then it's like with the two of swords, you, you're happy but you feel stuck. Because it's like you're happy they came around, you're happy that they did something, you're happy that they're back, you know, you guys are back talking, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like you guys still kind of feel stuck in a way. All you guys are in the energy of like, yeah, they're back, but it can be like that. Like they're back, but it's just, it can be that kind of energy. But I will say... This last time, somebody went all out or somebody will be going all out and going above and beyond, you know, this next time around. I'm not sure why, but let's see. Why is the two of swords here? I also feel like somebody lied about their whereabouts lately. Or somebody lied about their whereabouts. Um, Yeah, lately. Let me see. Why is the two of swords here? Onto the two of swords. Yep. See, look. The knight of wands in reverse. So, I feel like this is definitely you guys' energy because you're happy they're back. But then I feel like with the knight of swords in reverse... It's like you expect this to happen again. You expect this to happen again. Or the Knight of Wands reverse. I wouldn't say for some of you guys that they're cheating. But the Knight of Wands reverse can be like when somebody doesn't get their way. Things get out of control. Somebody doesn't want to hear no. Or somebody doesn't like when somebody says this. You know. Um, or I wouldn't say it's like you guys are walking on eggshells. But you feel like if you say this then they're going to get mad. Or this is how they can feel towards you. They feel like I got to do whatever I got to do to make this person happy. Because if not... They're going to flip out on me. They're going to go nuts. They're going to go crazy. They're going to say this. They're going to feel this way. They're going to start an argument. They're going to be mad. Whatever. It can be that. So, whoever it is, when it comes to the world card in reverse, I clarify both. You will know who you are versus who they are in this situation. But both of you guys are in this cycle. Both of you guys. 
are playing a role in this. Okay? So that's just that's just what y'all do, I guess. But somebody was lying about their whereabouts. Who was lying about their whereabouts? So, go on to the edit and to close the For some of you guys, somebody was not at work. They were not on the clock. They were not at work. Um, let me see why I have the edit and to close the For some of you guys, they were stuck arguing with an ex or somebody that they used to deal with or talk to or somebody that they're tied to financially. That's what they didn't want you to know. Somebody is arguing with somebody or has been arguing and fighting with somebody that they were once committed to, that they are still tied to financially or were tied to financially, or somebody that they have a family or children with. And I also feel like the argument could have been about you guys as well. I feel like somebody knows now like what's kind of like going on. I feel like somebody is aware and knows now because i feel like something was hidden but i feel like whatever was hidden with this moon it was talked about or there was an argument about it not sure why i'm getting that but that's what i'm getting here okay that's what i'm getting here give me one second collective i'll be right back give me one sec i'm sorry y'all all right, I'm back. Sorry about that, Fire Fam. So, yeah, so that's what they were lying about. That's what the holdup was. Um, I don't know. They've been arguing with somebody. They were arguing with somebody. It looks like an ex or somebody or somebody in their family. Mm -hmm. Let's just pull. I'm pulling from my real shit work for that. Let's see. Yep, this is what they got into an argument about. Endings and separation in new man. So, somebody found out about you guys recently. Somebody was in an ending or a separation with somebody. And whoever you're talking to right now, like, it's new between you guys. Or, like, like you guys are with somebody. And maybe you guys started new, you know, again. Or, this is like your new, like, you guys are new in a relationship. You know, like, this is a new relationship. And whoever this was that they were arguing with or dealing with, this person had rather talked in person. They wanted to talk in person about something. And it was about a breakup. It was about them being with somebody else. It was about a separation. So somebody could have been like, oh, so are we done for good now? Or is it over like for good? Like what's going on? So I'm not sure what this is about that they were talking about in person. I feel like that's what it was, but I feel like it was more than that. Let's see. It was more than that. Or somebody thought the conversation was going to be more than that with the Three of Cups. See, King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody thought that they were going to get back with somebody, and the King of Pentacles could have been in reverse. Like, nah, like, I don't want to get back with you. You know, so whoever this ex is or whoever they were talking to or whatever was going on, somebody pretty much told somebody, like, I don't want to get back with you. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, told somebody that they didn't want to get back with them. Because of how he's coming up, or how she's coming up in reverse, male or female. Yep, see, somebody was trying to extend themselves, and they were like, nah, I'm good, I don't want to get back with you. And I feel like they could have been thinking about you the whole time, but if not, it's like, somebody was trying to reconnect with them recently. Something happened like three days ago, three, four days ago, when they were trying to get back with them. Somebody was trying to get back with somebody and got rejected. And somebody thought that that's what the good news was. Because I feel like this person was like, yeah, we can talk in person. Or yeah, let's talk in person. Because somebody wanted to talk, talk in person about the Three of Cups. Which is reconnecting, coming together, seeing somebody. It could have been a holiday. Oh, Mother's Day, this could happen. Or, you know, celebrating something. You know what I'm saying? But then we have your health matters, sex is bomb, karma, and good news. So somebody just maybe feels like this situation is not good no more. It's not healthy anymore. 
yeah somebody felt like this situation just wasn't healthy anymore it's not good anymore or something about some type of ch a child so something about the kids so maybe somebody maybe a kid was sick or something was going on yeah we have the five of clubs something like that or somebody just feels like the person is childish in this situation and that's just not what they want so i don't know what this this could be either your ex or their ex. I feel like it's more their ex. I'm not sure why I'm pulling up so much of their ex's energy. But when I told you I seen that somebody was like kind of like lying or not being honest about their whereabouts, this is what was going on. So that's our brain is energy. So I feel like somebody still also wants to have sex with this person. Yeah, see, somebody is like, somebody, so their ex may just be like, dang, like the sex is bomb and, and still wants to have sex with them, still wants to hook up with them. So they, you know, could have been like, dang, like, so we're not fucking no more. Like, it's over. It's done. It's a wrap. Like, none of that. And I feel like somebody is mad and because we have karma here. Now, it could be somebody getting their karma or whatever. I'm actually break down all of these. But why is the karma card here? Seven of Wands. Yep, see, so somebody is like, oh, you want to get your karma for how you did me or how you're doing us, how you're doing your children, how you're, how you're going about the situation. So Seven of Wands, Aries, you said somebody was mad and said something like, that's how you're going to get your karma. You can go over there and play house or do whatever you do. Like, so they're, they're mad because I feel like they found out about you and somebody feels like they're going to get their, like, this is what I feel like somebody is telling somebody, like, you're going to get your karma, you know, for the situation or for what you did or what you're doing to us and blah, 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 blah. So it's just that. It's just, I feel like there's some jealousy. I feel like somebody is also mad about some type of ending and the fact that something is done and over with. And they thought if this, they got this person to come talk in person that the situation would be different. They were going to have sex, get back into them, do what they normally do. I feel like this person was, you know, expecting to hear good news. But somebody told them, like, mm -mm, it's over, we're done. Yep, see, look, Queen of Pentacles. So somebody is telling them, like, okay, so... You want to commit to somebody else and blah, blah, blah. Like, so you're going to get your karma. So I feel like this person feels like hurt and feels like the person you guys are dealing with is going to get karma for how they did the ex or whatever. So that's what that is about. But somebody did tell somebody or somebody did reject somebody. Okay. Like, so they rejected an ex or told somebody that they didn't want to reconnect or get back with them or hook up with them or that they're no longer interested or no longer want to be committed to this person. So that's what I'm getting here. The good news in this situation is that I feel like somebody is finally walking away. Okay, so I feel like that's what the good news is with the page of cups. So somebody is finally walking away from somebody. And that's what I feel like somebody been needing to tell somebody. So somebody was probably either afraid or feared opening up and expressing that and telling somebody. But that's now it's now they're walking away. Now they're done. Now they're like, okay, it's good news to them, but maybe not good news to the other person. Okay, now we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Remember, I told you this is um, how they feel about you. So let's see why this is in their energy towards you and uh, why they feel like this towards you guys. You know, especially since they walked away, there's good news and all this type of stuff. So let's see why the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. So with this, how your person feels towards you is that they feel like, like I said before, with the Queen of Pentacles, sometimes you guys could be like me, so uh, mean and like stubborn or selfish or you may look at a situation and only see it from like your perspective or you take the story and run with it. You don't see it no other way. And this is somebody that really wants to I wouldn't say really, but it's the seven of pentacles. This is somebody that wants to invest. And I feel like how they feel towards you is that they feel like even when they do invest or give you what you want, like you kind of make it hard for them to shut them out. Could be kind of mean towards them. Um, the story is one way. It's one sided with this queen of pentacles reverse energy. And they feel like you're quick to dislike, shut them out, cut them off, queen of wands, move on, do your thing. Are just you could sometimes be too unbothered for them. They don't like that because the Queen of Wands with this energy is like with this energy here. This is someone that is like, all right, next, like unbothered, on to the next. Like I don't care, it doesn't bother me. But it could be that the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why she's reversed. They could have did something that made you mad. But we're just look, you know, we're just looking into their feelings towards you guys. So if this is not how you treat them, then this part doesn't resonate with you. Okay. So don't be going off on me telling me that you ain't mean, you ain't did this, you ain't did that. If it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. Okay? So, 
for those of you that you know resonate with this this is how they feel you know but they do find you very attractive they think that you guys are very sexy um you are somebody that they want to be with but they feel like every time you know i guess maybe when you guys get into it because the four of wands reverses like a, a situation that's not peaceful you know with the queen of pentacles in reverse this can be somebody that's scared to come home or you know i wouldn't say scared but like kind of not want to come toward you or go you know where you're at because they don't know if you're gonna be mean if you're gonna be nice like you know like how you gonna play it out you know so let's see let's see how this person feels towards you guys how does the collective person feel towards them we have wedding this situation involves marriage marriage so and then we look we have release your ex and we have make the effort so i feel like this person sees you as somebody that they want to marry and the queen of pentacles in reverse with the four of wands reverse could be that maybe they don't you know maybe they're not attracted to any other woman or want to be with or commit or married to any other woman you know or get married to any other woman but it's just like their ex was in a way i will say that and that is done now and they're making the effort and putting in the effort and then we have wedding here so maybe this person just feels like you're somebody that they want to marry and be with and commit to the ex just you know they just finally walked away from the ex and handle that situation and they're trying to make the effort but they feel like now that they're trying to make the effort maybe you could just be a little upset with them i don't know but let's go on to marriage and the reason i'm saying i don't know is because it's going to play out differently for all of you guys okay so let's go on to the marriage card we have the six of swords in reverse we have the nine of wands and I feel like you guys challenge them. And for some of you guys, that may be one reason why they actually might want to marry you or are thinking about marriage. Maybe at first they weren't, they weren't, but they feel like you guys challenge them. Whoever this is, you challenge the fuck out of them. Or that's how they feel. They feel like you don't play no games. Like they can't even breathe wrong around you. So it's just like they know, like you, you guys always give them something to think about. You know, so. It's like now they've been thinking about marriage and stuff and thinking about commitment and they feel like you guys challenge them. You guys get them a lot to think about. They feel like you're very strong, you're very wise. Um, and maybe you guys, you know, drop some dimes on them. Who knows? All right. But how you feel towards this person, we have the nine of swords here. So there could be some stress and anxiety, maybe at times regret or just, you know, could be that you're overwhelmed or overthinking something. But let's see why the nine of swords here. Let's see. We have the nine of cups. I feel like this person stresses you out but makes you happy at the same time. I feel like they get on your nerves. Look, see, but I feel like you guys both do it to each other. I feel like, but I feel like they get on your nerves. And look, we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Y'all do go, y'all do repeat cycles. And I will say that even though this person get on, gets on your nerves and makes you happy and now they're releasing the X and want to marry you and all this type of stuff, it's just like you guys got to come out of that cycle though. You got to come out of this cycle here, this breakup to make up or this, oh, shut them out fuck you da 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 then they come in with roses in a card and y'all are happy and like that has to like and it's not even the like what they're giving it's like the energy that you guys are putting out there like when one person feels some type of way then the other person feels like they got to kiss the other person's ass to do this or whatever and i'm not saying that you are they are but it's just like it's like somebody feels like they always have to come to the other person and make up or you feel like you do it's some i don't know it's a cycle here that needs to be broken so even though they're finally walking away from somebody and, and doing whatever, there's a cycle there that needs to be broken. And the Wheel of Fortune reverse is telling me like your happiness and stuff with them, it's temporary or it's like you guys go days and weeks, you know, where you guys are happy and getting along, but then you guys jump back into this energy and you ask yourself or you're like, dang, why can't we move forward? Why is it not moving forward? Why are we always in the same energy? Okay. And it's because that cycle and then we have the seven of swords here too and it's the three of cups reverse and some of you guys don't want to admit that you guys are part of the reason why the relationship is not moving forward three of cups reverse is what i just talked about it doesn't have to do anything with the ex for some of you guys you might think and suspect that when you guys aren't talking they're running to the ex or running to go cheat on you or do something that may be the case i don't know i'm not picking that up and i'm not about to go into that right now but what i will tell you guys though is that with the seven of swords in the three of cups reverse when this stuff happens the seven of swords of the person sometimes that can feel like they didn't have part of it or you feel like 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 are it's like you know you did something wrong or played a part in it but you don't want to admit to it so you're still kind of deceptive in the energy as well with this person because for some of you guys it could be like you knew what you were doing you knew that if you did this it was going to work or 
it could be that like this person came back and you really don't want to break up i really don't want to be in this energy and push them out and do that but at the same time they're not giving you what you want and they're not making you happy or they came back and they did one thing wrong and now you're just like i don't even know if i want to be with you because that's the three of cups reverse too it's it's like you guys reconcile but it doesn't go anywhere and you last for so long you know stuff like that but we're going to go into the three of cups reverse let's see see sometimes it's not even about another person they have to pay the wands reverse that's attitude that's somebody that's somebody going off that's attitude that's somebody mad see look that's somebody very honest blunt direct too straightforward or it could just be that hmm. and i know this is how you guys feel towards them but then it also like the energy pointed at you guys too so let me go into this not uh not of swords with paper wand reverse let's see paper wand reverse with the knight of swords what's this about two of cups whoever this is that like y'all y'all want to be with them y'all care about them i just feel like sometimes it's like your actions you like you just like maybe you jump to conclusions are you're quick to assume things you make rash decisions you get mad fast you know something like that with the page of wands reverse nine of swords and some of you guys are realizing that you may play a role or have a part in it you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that your person isn't um wrong or anything like that so don't be like oh fire you're taking her side i'm not taking nobody's side because i'm not in your relationship so i'm on nobody's side okay but i will say that you are starting to see that. And this person, you do care about this person. And I fight deep down inside. Or at the end of the day, you do want to be with this person. But y'all are both in this cycle. And y'all are y'all both feel some type of way. And both of y'all are the reason why the relationship's not moving forward. So it's just little things that need to change. And this, the stuff that needs to change is something that is easy and workable. It's nothing hard or difficult. So what I'm seeing. I don't see anything hard and difficult here. Now, with the Four of Swords here... Um, as far as what you should know about your relationship let's see so the four of swords let me see oh damn y'all know i don't take cards from the ground we have a queen of cups justice so what what needs to happen is that what you guys need to know about this relationship is that y'all just need to be honest and speak your truth and speak and speak your true feelings towards one another okay instead of shutting each other out and cutting each other off or you know, like pushing each other to the side or I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that. It seems like you guys both need to be honest or you or somebody needs to be honest and speak their true feelings in this situation and stop putting it off our life. If, if you really do care about this person and want to be with them, then show that. Speak that. If that's how they feel towards you, that's what they need to do. Okay? So, I feel like this for both of y'all, honestly. But let's see. What are you guys overlooking in this relationship? We do have the four of cups here. So, with the four cups, it's like somebody can kind of feel rejected or lonely at times or feels like, you know, like they're not a part of, you know, the relationship or they feel like, like you may feel like you're not a part of the relationship at times or, let's see, why the four of cups here? Yeah, see, four of swords. You feel like they may shut you out, reject you at times. You feel like they don't involve you in everything or you're not always involved in everything. And we have the Six of Pentacles, and then we have the Two of Swords. And I feel like even though they're there and they give in to you and do stuff for you, you just still kind of feel stuck or you just still feel like they reject you in a way. So I don't know why you guys will feel like that, but I feel like if that if this is how you guys feel, then maybe it's something like outside of the relationship that is making you feel like this. Maybe you guys have been with other people that have, you know, put you to the side, made you, you know, feel like less than or reject you or something like that. So it could be that maybe they really are doing this in a relationship or it's something that you're dealing with. Because for some of you guys, you feel this way but don't know why you really feel this way with the two of swords. You don't know why they make you feel this way. See, seven of cups and the devil. It's inner conflict. This is something that is, this is something outside the relationship. It could be a Capricorn, but this is something outside of the relationship. And I feel like then you think, like, see, this is a couple. And then I feel like around it are all the cuts. And you think about other relationships or other people you've been with and, you know, how they treated you, how they made you feel. For some of you guys, we have the two of wands. I feel like this person is different. I feel like you do want to be with them or you want something different with this person. But then I also feel like you get stuck in the past and start thinking about, you know, past things and stuff like that. You know, um... I feel like 
some of you guys just want something that is like where somebody is just like you know down for you but it's a a very good connection you know you guys know how to communicate and express yourself so like i get that um let's see but with the eight of wands and the shame card it's 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 just saying like you guys have to learn how to control this feeling or it's like you guys are going through this so that you guys can overcome this and come out strong in this situation so it's like maybe they do test you and trigger you guys at times but they are helping you overcome this energy like this feeling and maybe you don't realize it but see and look every time they do something or every time something doesn't go your way or every time something goes wrong in a relationship you go back to these feelings or back to this energy but then like see look and that's what you guys need to that's what you would need to work on or they need to work on or somebody needs to work on in this relationship this is what is being overlooked right here because somebody when they don't get attention when they don't get what they want it's like they can tend to act a certain type of way, do certain kind of things. It can just be in their head. Or they like want somebody to give in to them a certain kind of way. You know? So let's see. Why is our hermit in reverse? I'm gonna throw some little um some, some sex magic in here. The I'm gonna use a tarot of sexual magic in here. Let's see, why is a hermit in reverse? Three of swords. So when I asked, um, damn, what was the question? I gotta log back in. Sorry, y'all. Is there anything holding uh, this person back from being with you? And for some of you guys with the Three of Swords reverse, I mean with the Three of Swords and the Hermit in reverse, this person is needing to heal from a past relationship. They're still healing from a past relationship. Or it's like every love situation that has come into their life, there's some healing there. And it could be from you too. Not that they did this to you or you did this to them. But I feel like both you guys are healing from past relationships. Mm -hmm. And I feel like by August, things will be a lot better between you and this person. Something about August, King of Wands, we have the sun. And I feel like this person, I don't feel like they're going to wait to, you know. Let me see. It. This person is going to be in a much better place mentally by August. That's what I will say. They will be in a better... Uh, they will be in a better energy mentally by August. Mm -hmm. And then look, the Wheel of Fortune is here. So all them cycles and all that bullshit, it's like that's going to stop. I feel like that's going to stop. I really do. I feel like that's going to stop now that I've seen that. And I feel like whoever you guys are with, I feel like somebody or both you guys could be making a relationship or making things a little bit more difficult than what it needs to be. But... It's because y'all both give in to that energy. Are y'all both, like I said, are in this cycle. But I'm using the um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. So, um, let's see. I'm going to pull a few cards. Let's see what this person wants to do with you. Oh, okay. I was like, why do I feel hair? And it's a hole right there because like my shirt it has like the holes in it. I'm like, I'm like, why can I feel my hair on my, like, on my shoulder right there? All right, let's see. What does this person want to do to you guys? Let's see. When it comes to the universe, what does this person want to do to y'all? Let's see. We have the lovers. Okay. So, for one, this person wants to make love to you. And we have it with the four of pentacles. And we have it with the six of pentacles. So this person wants to make love to you. Somebody is in love with like your chest and wants to like suck on like your chest. But they want you guys to, next time you guys are doing it or when you guys do it, they like when you guys play with yourself. Somebody wants you to play with play with yourself. They like, they like to watch that or they want to watch that or see that. They want you to like play with yourself. Like they want you to like get it started. You know, like they, that's what they want to do. On this lover, there are two people. I mean, it is two females on there. Um, for some of you guys that are in that threesome type energy, like somebody wants to have a threesome with one of your friends. Somebody finds your friend or somebody attractive. Um, they can have blue hair. Or somebody has like blue hair. But somebody um, like wants to like, you know, like 
play with you while, like you know like suck on your titties and stuff like while you're while you're like playing with yourself or they want to see you or watch you play with yourself Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to do something different. We have the moon. Yeah, somebody wants to do something different. And somebody definitely is into like threesomes or bringing somebody to the bedroom. Um, That's for some of you guys. But for others of you, somebody wants to do something like really wild, freaky, and spontaneous. Like they want to do something like you've never done before. Like, they want to, like, put it somewhere that they never put it before. So, yeah, and we have the Nine of Cups. They're going to be very romantic about it. Or somebody is, like, I feel like it's going to start with, like, them touching on you. You playing with yourself. Or you playing with yourself. Them touching on you. Or, you know, then it's going to go from there. But, like, somebody wants to, like, make, like, love to you. Like, they want to do something like they've never done before. This can even involve like porn or something that they seen, you know, like on a porn or on a video or something. They want to do something like different, wild, spontaneous, freaky. Somebody wants to put it in another hole, and we know what that is about. Um, uh oh, somebody's doing sex magic. Somebody, somebody's doing sex magic. Hmm. Why though? Somebody's doing sex magic, but what they're doing is they're trying to stop and block you guys, block your like your sexual relationship. Or I don't know why though. See, I don't have time for this because we have the three of swords. We have the queen of cups. Somebody is still in love with your person, and there's like a like there's a candle here lit like with a body on there and somebody still wants to be with somebody romantically or they're jealous but it's like somebody is doing like witchcraft or like sex magic um on somebody mm -mm -mm. it's always some shit why who what is the sex magic sex magic about five of swords it's not working right now whatever they're doing but somebody is trying to they're doing sex magic and they're also trying to get into somebody's head to get somebody to come back to them so that they can be with them and they want somebody to open their heart back to them like that's what somebody is doing somebody is trying to get somebody to open their heart back to them like they want the they want the person to feel how they want felt about them and they know that person doesn't feel that way about them anymore and what they're trying to do is get that person to, to like, they want that person to come back to them. Yeah, see the eight of wands and the five of cups, they miss this person and they want this person to come back to them. And it's like, maybe this person did have fantasies and things like that. And so what they're doing is like, they're telling this person that they'll fulfill those fantasies. Mm -hmm. We have a chariot he has a dildo and she's been over. So somebody does want to have anal sex or do a tea in the butt or... Maybe that was one of their fantasies or something like that. And the ex is like, okay, well, I'll let you do it, you know, or something like that. But somebody wants to take things to a whole another level, okay? Somebody wants to take it to a whole another level. Um, let's see. I'm about to hop out of this energy really quick, y'all, because they're freaky on here. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And then I will tell you guys, like, whoever you're dealing with, it's like, like, they know where home is. Like, you, like, you got that good, good. And that's what they come running to. Not to say it like that, but you're who they want. But I will say, even if you guys don't do all this freaky stuff, that's what's just on their mind. Like, that's what they fantasize. That's what they think about fantasize. When it comes to you. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. My priestess. Somebody has never had a sexual partner like you before. You've never had a sexual partner like them before. 
And all I'll say is when y'all have sex, it's like somebody, one of you guys feel like you're in another world. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get head across the bed tonight or across the couch. Somebody is. Somebody's ready. That tongue is ready. But like when they're with you, it's like they're in a whole nother world. Or you feel like you're in a whole nother world with this person. Yes. They are. Now, for those of you where your sex life was like kind of dull, you know, it's about to pick back up. Somebody was going through something sexually, but it had nothing to do with the other person. We have the Ten of Wands. Somebody's sexual energy was just not there. And it's about to come back. And when they come back, it's going to be on and mother and popping. They're going to be doing stuff they never did. They're going to be wanting to do it two, three, four, five times a day. Over here, over there, upstairs, downstairs, on the floor, in the car, in the shower, whatever, whatever, you know. They don't want to. Yeah, it's going to go down. All right. So, yep, that's what I have for y'all today for the daily reading i love you fire fam that is the reading if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell if you guys would love to book with me fire intuition that is the only way you guys can book with me um don't forget about the mother's day raffle all that info is in the description box below it's also pinned in the comments and yes that's all i have for y'all today bye y'all